Anne tries to comfort Peter, who has become increasingly despondent during his years at the Annex. Look, Pedro, the sky, what a lovely day. Aren't the clouds beautiful? You know what I sometimes do when, I, when it seems as if I couldn't stand being cooped up for one more minute? I dig myself out. I dig myself on a walk in the park where I used to go with Pim, where the roses and the violets and the, and the daffodils grow down the slope. You know the most wonderful thing about digging yourself out? You can have it any way you like. You can have un roses, un violets, un chrysanthemums, all blooming at the same time. It's funny. I used to take it all for granted, and now I've gone crazy with everything to do with nature. Haven't you? I wish you had some religion, Peter. I don't mean you have to be orthodox and believe in heaven and hell and purgatory and things. I just mean something to believe in. It doesn't matter what. When I think of all that's out there, the trees, the flowers, the seagulls, then I think of the dearness of you, Peter, and then I think of the goodness of the people we know. Mr. Crowler, Meep, Dirk, the vegetable man, all risking their lives for us each day. When I think of these good things, I am not afraid anymore. I find myself und God, und I. They're not the only people that have had to suffer, sometimes one race, sometimes another. And yet, I know it's horrible trying to have faith when people are doing such terrible things. But you know what I sometimes think? I think the world may be going through a phase, like the way I was with mother. It'll pass, maybe not for hundreds of years, but someday I still believe, in spite of everything, that people are really good at heart.